The death of a young left-wing activist who was brutally beaten by skinheads has spurred a wave of protest and fear through French society. The teenager's murders also pushed thousands of anti-fascist protesters out onto the streets. Tessa Asilla reports from Paris tonight. The police in France are investigating a case where an 18-year-old leftist student was killed, had died from injuries after being attacked by what police are calling a group of skinheads, members of extremist fringe far-right parties. And France has been seeing violent protests in recent months with the legalization of gay marriage coming to the forefront of the political discussion. Let's get some more insight from journalist and expert on terrorism and extremism, Claude Moniquet. Thank you very much uh, for joining us today. This incident of the uh, leftist student killed by far-right extremists, or pol as police are saying, what does this tell you about what's going on in France? Basically, of course, it's a, clearly a tragedy. A kid of 18 being killed for political reasons, it's stupid. But it's mainly an accident. I think that it was not the, the goal of the, the, the man or the men, if there were some, uh, a few, which attacked, uh, attacked him. I think also that all the political groups or organizations or advocating uh, violence must be banned from the society. But this is a case of a rightist extremist group having killed a leftist uh, student. And you will have members of both sides uh, weighing in on, on the, uh, the issue. I think, of course, the issue will be exploited by both sides, mainly probably by the left and by the leftist organization. Uh, they will use this poor young man as a martyr and they will explain that all the right is responsible, which is, of course, not the case. There is no room, I think, in a democracy for violence and for exclusion. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that. Well, with incidents like these, of course, the questions will be raised on what are the root causes of things that happen like this on the streets. Now, at a time when, when France is facing a recession economically, a deeply unpopular president in place, this is yet another issue that France will have to seriously deal with. Reporting from Brussels, I'm Tessa Arcilia.